Hi, my name is Lemmy Wildees, and I'd like to welcome you to Reading Through the Bible, where we will be reading through the scriptures without commentary, just as a devotional type read. I hope this is a blessing and an encouragement to you. Genesis chapter 4. The man knew Eve, his wife. She conceived and gave birth to Cain and said, I have gotten a man with Yahweh's help. Again, she gave birth to Cain's brother Abel. Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. As time passed, Cain brought an offering to Yahweh from the fruit of the ground. Abel also brought some of the firstborn of his flock and of its fat. Yahweh respected Abel and his offering, but he didn't respect Cain and his offering. Cain was very angry, and the expression on his face fell. Yahweh said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why has the expression of your face fallen? If you do well, won't it be lifted up? If you don't do well, Sin crouches at the door. Its desire is for you, but you are to rule over it. Cain said to Abel, his brother, let's go into the field. While they were in the field, Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. Yahweh said to Cain, where is Abel, your brother? He said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Yahweh said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries to me from the ground. Now you are cursed because of the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. From now on, when you till the ground, it won't yield its strength to you. You will be a fugitive and a wanderer in the earth. Cain said to Yahweh, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me out today from the surface of the ground. I will be hidden from your face, and I will be a fugitive and a wanderer in the earth. And whoever finds me will kill me. Yahweh said to him, Therefore, whoever slays Cain, vengeance will be taken on him sevenfold. Yahweh appointed a sign for Cain so that anyone finding him would not strike him. Cain left Yahweh's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain knew his wife. She conceived and gave birth to Enoch. He built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch, was born Arad. Arad became the father of Ehujael. Ehujael became the father of Methushael. Methushael became the father of Lamech. Lamech took two wives. The name of the first was Ada, and the name of the second was Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal, who was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal, who was the father of all who handle the harp and pipe. Zillah also gave birth to Tubal Cain, the forger of every cutting instrument of brass and iron. Tubal Cain's sister was Naamah. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice. You wives of Lamech, listen to my speech. For I have slain a man for wounding me, a young man for bruising me. If Cain will be avenged seven times, truly Lamech seventy-seven times. Adam knew his wife again. She gave birth to a son and named him Seth, saying, For God has given me another child instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. A son was also born to Seth, and he named him Enosh. At that time, 
men began to call on Yahweh's name. Thanks for joining me on this uh, Bible reading journey. Um, I'd like to invite you to check out some of my other sites and offerings. I've got a voiceover website that you can find at LemuelCDs.com. Also, I'd like to invite you to check out my blogs and podcasts called Thoughts Along the Way. And that's at ThoughtsAlongTheWay2013.com. Uh, the Bible Read is a labor of love, but your gifts and contributions are accepted and are welcome. And uh, you can do that at the PayPal Me uh, link that will be down below. Hope you can join us again for the next Bible Read. Until then, God bless you. Uh, have a great day and a great week and a great year. See you soon. Bye-bye.